Hi YouTube, this is another video. So if you've seen my last video, yes, I have the same aesthetic on. It's because I'm doing multiple, multiple videos at once. Yes, I can't talk, so it's okay. You're gonna bear with me. <laughs> um, so the next topic I'm gonna be talking about is limbo. Limbo is basically, my definition of limbo is something I felt like I've been in for a little while. So basically it's like, I felt like I've been making friends and losing them at the same time. So the making it, the high points are your heaven, and then your low point is losing them and um, your hell. But it, obviously this is not about heaven and hell. This is just an example, okay? Um, disclosure, like I said, this is not about heaven and hell. So if you think this is what it is, please click off um, and leave a like still. I appreciate the likes. So once again, if you hear the fan in the background, it's hot in my house, so please don't judge me. And if you hear a little whining, I have a dog. I am a mom. I have a daughter, and she's sleeping right next to me, so I can keep an eye on her. So, like I said, let's get into it. <laughs> and I say, like I said, a lot. So, just if, if you stay with me, you'll see that. Also, too, um, the video games will be coming soon. We found out a schedule to where I will be able to stream a little bit more. Um, but like, like I said, you see that. Like I said, <laughs> um, it's probably not gonna be as soon as you think. That Finance and Freddy video is coming up, though. So if you stay with me, please, 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 please stay with me. Um, it's going to be coming soon. We just got to get everyone scheduled together because it's going to be my nephew. It's going to be my best friend and um, my husband's best friend. That, that's who's doing the video with me. So we're just going to be chatting it up and talking. All right, let's get to limbo. So this is basically my experiences. So um, it's something to think about, basically. It's another rant. Bang! technicality right so um limbo so things that i've experienced is i've always got the people who's like oh my gosh you're really cool i like your style and then when they get my number instantly nothing or when they see me in person they're like oh my gosh you're super cool um and then it gets all like giggly giggly but then when like i said when they get my number it's nothing it disappoints me uh, i'm a very talkative person i am a texter so um I, I don't really know why, so I can't really give you guys advice. It's just, like I said, this is just a rant my experience. But I tend to think about what is something I'm doing. And also, I have to think about, like, maybe it's just a common courtesy type of thing. You know, they think you're cool to see you in person, but when they get behind closed doors, they're not as interested as they thought they were. And that's honestly, that, that could be honestly the situation. And that's totally okay. Um, it's just that now I'm in a day and age to work because I'm 27. So I'm like, if you're not interested in really getting to know me, just don't, don't ask me for my number. Don't don't text me because I will text you. I will text you a lot. And I know that gets annoying too. So I have to check myself when it comes to texting because I'm a talkative person, as you can tell. <laughs> so um, another example, a relationship limbo is like if... You meet a guy or a girl, or girl, girl, or guy, guy, you know what I mean? And um, I, found, I found this um, in both situations, um, when dating guys and dating girls. Yes, I'm bisexual. Rainbow baby. And yes, my husband knows. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, it's, it's like, oh my gosh, you're really pretty in your face. And then, once again, the conversation falls flat then they disappear or they'll just completely ghost me and not talk to me for a while and then when they see me in person they either pretend like I don't exist or they just run <laughs> yeah sadly to say yeah it's kind of disappointing but what can you do anyway yeah so you just kind of find yourself in that situation and I tend to find myself in that situation a lot like I'm not the type of person that makes friends continuously, that's like have a thousand numbers and names in my phone. I have about a good four, five, the rest is family. And I would never say, it always made me think like, it was, is it me or is it them or is it both of us or is it just the situation? You know what I mean? It's something to really, really, really think about. You know what I mean? I always say, you know, if you are in the limbo, don't get yourself down. You know, everyone has their own reason why they do everything. You know, you can't automatically assume it's your fault. 
I assumed that it was my fault because, you know, since I am a plus size woman, yes, I am very plus size. I got hit for days, hits for days, and I tend to run into the ones who, I actually asked someone before, and they said it was because I'm intimidating, and I didn't realize that I could be intimidating, but I guess, because I'm not really short either. I'm kind of about 5'6", so um, I tend to run into the, oh, you're intimidating, or um, people always have this assumption because I'm plus size that I'm a bully, no, and then also to um, the whole bisexuality thing, it, it's a hit or miss with me, uh, it always tends to rub people the wrong way, um, I, I'm very comfortable with my sexuality, um, it's just someone here you're bisexual and they're like don't hit on me and I'm just like what makes you think you're my type just saying you know what I mean so it's just different things and also I hate to say this y'all gonna get mad at me but it's because of this too and y'all know what I mean when I because it's coming because of this you know what I mean um so it, it, it's just it's disappointing and then another thing that I feels like it hinges me a little bit or I feel like that could be a reason is I get the whole oh you're a black girl you're into anime yes you're a black girl you're into video games yes oh you're a black girl you draw and you paint yeah you know what I mean what you 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 like wear, wearing random colored hair yeah you know what I mean you have tattoos yeah you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, it just the stereotypes of what they expect black women to be. Um, instead of actually understanding that we're all individuals and we all have our own personalities and likes and dislikes. So that's why I feel like I'm a limbo. Because I'm a wild card. You're not, you're not going to know exactly what you're going to get. And it's disappointing. It's sad. You know what I mean? And, you know, another thing, like I said, my husband, I talk to my husband a lot, don't judge me. Um... You know, I might not meet. I might I might have a harder time due to those reasons. Due to the stereotypes. Due to the, oh, because you're this or you look like that, you should be doing this and that and not this. Hopefully I didn't confuse you with that. Yes, this is my Pikachu hat, by the way. I know this is random. I love your Pikachu. Pikachu is awesome. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, so it, it, it's, it's, a diff it, it, it's difficult. Um, because like I said, since you are, like, I consider myself an extrovert, introvert. Extrovert, meaning to where, like, if you see me working in customer service, I'm bubbly sometimes, depending on my mood, I'm a human being, just like everybody else. You know, I'm bubbly, I'm in your face. When I see something on you that I can relate to, I'm like, I love that, and I want to talk your head off. You know, and then the introvert part is, I'm a homebody, I'm a big homebody. If I'm leaving this house, it has to be for a very good reason. <laughs> now, even now, even now more so now and stuff like that so it, it it's 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 disappointing you know what i mean like i i like meeting different people different sexualities different sexes different whatever just so we can see what we can relate on and if not then we can just support each other along the way you know what i mean but everyone is not that cup cup of tea you know what i mean um so have just ask yourself so due to my rent obviously there's more to this but i'm keeping it short um, due to my daughter sleeping, but think about it. Ask yourself: Are you in a limbo? Or is is it hard for you to make friends? Is it hard for you to find relationships? I know it's hard for me. This girl right here, even though it looks that I'm married, obviously, it wasn't that hard. But like, if you back at high school, you know what I mean. My husband, me, and my husband been together for nine years. So nine years before I met him, it was really hard. And even to this day, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say it. <laughs> like, even finding women to find yourself attracted to me is it just hard. You know what I mean? And ask yourself if you're in a limbo. I'm in limbo. Are you? <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed my rant. Because it's going to be a rant topic type situation. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, like it. If you're not, like it anyway. Just to show you girls some love. Like I said, I'm getting used to this whole camera thing, talking to myself through a camera. It's kind of weird. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm, show me some love. I appreciate it. And if you comment, 
I will call him back unless you're disrespectful because it ain't going to be about that. Mm -mm. I have anxiety. I have too bad anxiety for all that. But um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your 2021. And I'll see you all in the next video, of course. Oh, that was ugly. Forget it. Love you. Bye.